Hi everyone, let's solve question number 44. Let the function f be given by fx equals to this piecewise function and we have to find out the local extremes. First of all, we'll calculate the f dash x over here. We'll be getting minus 4 times x minus 1 raised power 3 for x less than or equal to 2 and 3 times x minus 3 raised power 2 x greater than 2. Okay. Now we can clearly see that 1 and 3 are the points where f dash is becoming 0. So that are the point of judgments. Also, we can see that the function definition is changing at x equals to 2. So that would also be included in the point of judgment. So we have to judge the function at 1, 2, and 3 for local extrema. So let's try to do that. We have fx equals to minus times x minus 1 raised power 4 for x less than or equal to 2 and x minus 3 raised power 3 for x greater than 2. Now these are the three points. This is so this is 1, this is 2, and this is Three. Sorry, this is uh, this is one. This is two, and this is three. Okay. Now let's talk about x equals to one first. So we know that the function value at x equals to one is zero, and if we go towards the right side, in that case, this would become one plus h minus one. So it would become h raised power four. That is something positive. And if we go towards the left side, sorry, that would be negative because we have a negative sign over here. And if we go towards the left side. So we'll be having one minus h minus one. So that would be minus h raised power four. And uh, that, that would be nothing but h raised power four only. And we have a minus sign over here. So again, it's a negative value. So we have a maxima over here. So basically we have an extreme over here. Now if we talk about x equals to three. In that case, we know that the function value is zero at x equals to three. If we look at x equals to three plus h, in that case, this would become h raised power three. So this becomes something positive. If I take uh, h, x equals to h minus 3, that would become something neg negative. And the raised power 3 would be something negative only because of the odd power. So this becomes the continuation. We don't have any extreme over here. Now let's talk about x equals to 2. So at x equals to 2, the value would be uh, two raised, 1 raised power 4 with a negative sign. So that would be minus 1. So this is x equals to 2 and we have minus 1 over here. This value is minus 1. Okay. Now, if we go towards the right side, we'll be using this function for 2 plus h. So for 2 plus h, we'll be getting 2 plus h minus 3 raised power 3. That would be h minus 1 raised power 3. So this value would be a little, little lesser than in magnitude as compared to minus 1 in magnitude, right? So this would come somewhere over here, somewhere over here, okay? And similarly, if you want to find out the value of 2 minus h, we'll be getting 2 minus h minus 1 raised power 4 with a minus sign, right? Now this value becomes minus... 1 minus h raised power 4. Again, this value is a little negative and lesser in magnitude as compared to minus 1. And that would come somewhere over here. So this gives us a local minima over here. Okay. So we have extremas at 1 and 2, but not at 3. So the answer would be B option.